Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the last time we saw our hero, man, he was being murdered at the hands of Thanos. But then we flashed forward a little bit, and then the Hulk smashed through the stairs, busted the Tesseract, and then Loki disappeared. So we're starting the TV show today, and I'm assuming we're going to pick up, like, wherever that thing left off. So right. I'm really excited to watch this. We're going to break this down into three episodes because there's nine total. So we're going to knock it out in three parts. So like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. Hit us up on Patreon. And I'm really excited because Loki is just one of the coolest characters in the MCU. And I'm just ready to watch this. So Me too. Let's do it. Let's go. Glorious purpose. New York City. The Avenger Tower. 2012. <clears throat> on my way down to coordinate search and rescue. On my way down to coordinate search and rescue. <laughs> I mean, shut up. <laughs> Miss those days, man. What do you think? Maximum occupancy has been reached. Take the stairs. Yeah, yeah he's mad. <laughs> Take the stairs. Enter the case, Star. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Paul Red, Paul Red. Good job. Meet me in the alley. I'm gonna grab a quick slice. Oh, that's Tony Stark. Bang. That's right. Paul's out. Fumble. <laughs> Let's go. This is exactly how I was hoping it would start off, too. That was perfect. They brought it back and got right to the point. Love that. I miss the times when Loki was like the villain. I miss Paul like, Rudd. Oh, <laughs> you miss Paul Rudd? Yeah. Where you been, Paul? No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I just miss I miss those times. Good times. <laughs> That'd be so trippy to see. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> and his mouth is covered. <laughs> I am Loki, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. I it. <laughs> Title. Who are these dudes? <laughs> I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. <laughs> oh, I see. You're coming with us. So they're the time police. Right. Else? Last chance, variant. <laughs> if you don't mind, this is actually your last chance. Oh. <laughs> Shadow Realm. <laughs> right. Hey, Usman. Catch him. Look at, their, <laughs> look at his lips. At <laughs> 16th speed, but feeling all that pain in real time. Ouch. <laughs> That's nuts. They can control time like that. So they're gonna be undefeated unless you can learn to control it, huh? Reset the timeline. Oh, this, so those people never even seen him. That's kind of crazy that there's like a you know like there's a like time a force. force. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that a scroll? Whoa. <laughs> You're gonna wear yourself out, buddy. <laughs> Love this is evidence. Oh, can you at least tell me what it is? That's the tesseract. tesseract. Be very careful with it. Sounds dumb. <laughs> no thanks. That machine looks mm -mm. Hey. <clears throat> but will it be cooler than TARS though? No. <laughs> Oh. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is absurd. <laughs> and this. Loki talks a lot, though. He might have more papers. I know. And he's lived a long time. Oh, my gosh. So Loki's on trial by these like space timekeeper people. Please confirm to yeah. your knowledge that you are not a fully robotic being. <laughs> what? To my knowledge, do a lot of people not know if they're robots? Thank you for your confirmation. Please move through. <laughs> what if I was a robot and I didn't know it? <laughs> the machine would melt you from the inside out. Please move along, sir. <laughs> what is that, a metal detector? Okay, a robot detector. <laughs> <laughs> it took a picture? Like an x-ray machine? Your temporal aura. What's that? Please, through the door. <laughs> Maybe like a soul or something. Take a ticket. <laughs> it's Take like a, a DMV. <laughs> Take a ticket. <laughs> Why are they so hostile, though? This is a mistake. I shouldn't be here. This is a mistake. I shouldn't even be here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Time Variance Authority. I'm Miss Minutes. Look Better at all those light bulbs. <laughs> check this out. And it's still so dim in there. I know. Long ago, there was a vast multiversal war nearly resulting in the total destruction of 
everything. Oh, so the timelines are but competing. Then the all knowing timekeepers emerged. But sometimes people like you veer off the path the timekeepers created. We <laughs> so mischievous. You see that? Yeah. Loki well, didn't mean to. Whatever it was, stepping off your path created a nexus event, which, <laughs> left unchecked, could branch off into madness. To make sure that doesn't happen, the timekeepers created the TVA and all its incredible workers. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this video is great. Has stepped in to fix your mistake and set time back on its predetermined path. So sit tight and we'll get you in front of a judge in no time. <laughs> well, it seems like the only verdict is guilty. You don't get a lawyer, do you? <laughs> Hmm. And they're prepared for like a lot of people to be there. Timekeepers. <laughs> ticket, sir. That guy didn't give me a ticket. I tried to ticket, ask for one. Sir. I tried to ask that guy for a ticket. Were you raising, raising your voice with me, Buckethead? <laughs> oh, jump. He just dead? Did he send him somewhere or was that some stardust action? Don't yeah, you get that ticket, Loki. <laughs> I got one. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> I got his. This is starting out kind of cool. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. Like, oh, look at all the different Lokis. It's just like all these different, like, maybe like timeline Lokis. Right. Maybe I think it's kind of cool how there's like an authority to like fix the timeline. Because I could see on a multiverse how they would compete. There's got to be one that's better than the other, right? Hypothetically, like, if there was so many versions of myself, or if there was so many versions of Loki, there would be like good versions and bad versions. And right. I could see how that could be like a problem. The Hunter and his Minutemen responded to a routine Nexus event. You think? Owen Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> Positioning the bodies indicates I didn't know what the hell hit. Did that say 1549? Yeah. yeah. Reset charge is gone. That's the sixth attack in the last week. Oh, it's the TVA. Sir, there's something you want to see. The Locanator. Laufison. Variant L1130, aka. That would be so scary to be in that courtroom. I know. <laughs> charged with sequence violation 72089. Are you guilty or not guilty, sir? Guilty of being the god of mischief, yes. <laughs> guilty of a crime against the sacred timeline. Absolutely not, you have the wrong person. Oh, really? And who should we have? I suspect the Avengers. You see, I only came into possession of the Tesseract because they traveled through time. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of true, right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh, believe me, you can smell the cologne of two Tony Starks. <laughs> We're not here to talk about the Avengers. What they did was supposed to happen. You escaped oh. was not. Not supposed to happen. According to whom? <laughs> the time. That's subjective. <laughs> oh, they are? Uh, what are they doing? Dictating the proper flow of time. <laughs> it's our job. What do you do? Dictate the proper flow of time according to their dictations. How do you plead? <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> you should have done tried that. You got to yeah, warm you, up for you, you walk out to the cage. <laughs> He's trying to use his powers, ma'am. Don't rush me. <laughs> the court finds you guilty, and I sentence you to be reset. Reset? What does that mean? But you ridiculous bureaucrat will not dictate how my story ends. <laughs> it's not your story, Mr. Laufison. It never was. And who are you? Is that his nose for real, or is that just for the character? Dude, that thing is crushed <laughs> up like a Coke can. Start there. Home sweet home. That blows his mind, and he's from Asgard. I know. <laughs> I thought there was no magic here. There isn't. That's insane. But I would miss a yard. Technology's different in the timeless void they're in. I'm Agent Mobius, by the way. I don't like to talk, but you do like to lie, which you just did. As <laughs> we both know, you love to talk. Talky, talky. That's what I was saying. You do. You were created by the timekeepers to protect the sacred timeline. It's absurd. <laughs> After you. I mean, it is a little absurd, right? For the record, this really does feel like a killing me kind of a room. <laughs> You've always lived within your set path. I live within whatever path I choose. <laughs> you do. Okay, come have a seat. So Loki's realizing there's no free will. Yeah. And he doesn't <laughs> like that. I told you time moves differently in the TVA. Come on, sit down. Dang, he just rewounded him, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <Into this. laughs> I specialize in the pursuit of dangerous variants, like myself. You're just a little pussy cat. I got a set of <laughs> questions for you. Should you return, what are you gonna do? Finish what I started, claim my throne. You wanna be king? I don't World domination. I don't know, <laughs> no, but king of what exactly? The Andals and the first man. All right, now you're the king of Midgard, then what? Happily ever after? Space. Space is big, be a nice feather in your cap. Loki, <laughs> the king of space. 
<laughs> Mock me if you dare. No, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I I'm actually a fan. The timekeepers have built quite the circus, and I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Big metaphor guy. I love it. <laughs> Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. <laughs> Loki's getting his ego challenged a lot. <laughs> what is this? A sampling of your greatest hits. <laughs> if it's all the same. Betrayal. <laughs> I'll have that drink now. It's funny, for someone born to rule, you sure do lose a lot. I even say it's in your nature. You know, things didn't turn out so well for the last person who said that to me. Phil Coulson. Oh, yeah. Do you enjoy hurting people? Look at that smile. You are enjoying that. I don't have to play this game. Yeah, look, he's got some dark moments, don't he? Yeah. Mischief, right? <clears throat> I, I don't see anything very mischievous about this. What exactly is it that you want? What makes Loki tick? I know what this place is. Don't tell what him, Loki. It? It's an illusion. You're going to incriminate yourself. My choices are my own. I think this one's going to fire you up. The bright lure of freedom diminishes your life's joy in a mad <laughs> scramble for power. Precisely. I was on the verge of acquiring everything I am owed. If you hadn't picked up the Tesseract, you would have been taken to a cell on Asgard. Maybe he thought he was supposed to pick it up. It fell right at his feet. <laughs> right. Loki. That's like getting in trouble for making a sandwich today when I was supposed okay, to make bro. a pizza. Always so perceptive about everyone but yourself. Man, I remember then that moment. Dark elves mm -hmm. attack the palace. You <clears throat> think you send them to Thor? You might want to take the stairs to the left. Oh, never tell. Dang, yeah. In the dark world, right? Where do you have mm -hmm. her? Where is she? You lead them right to her. Oh, I don't believe do you. Do you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? Uh oh. <laughs> you weren't born to be king, Loki. You were born to cause pain and suffering and death. All so that others that sucks to hear. I know their best versions of themselves because you can't change it according to them. Dang, also, they could be the best versions of themselves. That sucks. Ouch, that kind of hurts. We have a situation, always a situation. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Don't leave him alone. He'll weasel his way to freedom. <laughs> he always does every time. <clears throat> you think everyone should be reset? I'm getting good stuff we in just there. Lost another <laughs> unit. Okay, Loki, I think we can finish up tomorrow and just pick it up. Yeah, he's gone. Every you already time. know it. Mischievous camp. He lost his little remote, huh? Yeah. I know you. You're that criminal with the blue box. <laughs> What's your name? Casey. Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not know what a fish is? <laughs> my entire life behind it does. I want to know exactly what I'm being threatened with before I comply. <laughs> death, Casey. Violent, painful death. Okay, Isn't Casey the first victim from the Scream series? The one that was making the popcorn? Jeez. Dang. Like dying up, Casey, I'll gut you like a fish. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. <sighs> Guys, it is, right? Because her mom is like, Casey, Casey, remember? He is said his it name was Casey? Casey. It's Casey. It's Casey. Because she was screaming Casey. You're in talking the about Drew Barrymore? Uh, I don't know about that. Whoa. How do you have these? We actually got a lot of those. Some of the guys use them as paperweights. Oh. Some of them. There's just a bunch of infinity stones. Like useless ones from different For pa Paperweights. <laughs> That's confusing, right? Yeah. So he's finally realizing where he's at. Is this the greatest power in the universe? Oh, He's that like, was what close. the heck? <laughs> you almost hit me. That's so messed up. <laughs> That's so messed up. <laughs> the fuel. I love you, my sons. What a good montage. Oh. That was Ragnarok, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought the world of you. I remember that part too, man. The Valkyrie. So at this point, he doesn't realize he did all this yet, right? He's seeing what he's supposed to do. I don't know. I think he is. Or is he just remembering? I think it? he did because. You should choose your words more carefully. Oh yeah, he's seeing his death right now. And he could go out like that, or he could change it by helping this dude, I guess. 
But that's sort of the thing, though. He has to go back to this timeline where he dies. Right, but that guy said he could help him, so maybe he just can help him instead of stick to the timeline. I don't know. Or maybe it's inevitable. What's so funny? Glorious purpose. <laughs> Dang. That'd be embarrassing if somebody <laughs> did me like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to torture that girl. Oh my god. And this guy kept saying he was going to turn me into a fish, whatever that is. And then they show up and just prune my cart. So That's not what he said. <laughs> you know, that variant you had got away. Loki, no we're left to run. I can't go back, can I? I don't enjoy hurting people. And this is Thor. I do it because I have to, because I've had to. It's pretty brutally honest, isn't it? I know. <laughs> you try to use that? Oh, several times. Even an infinity stone is useless here. That's kind of a big deal, right? Right. Yeah, it's formidable. But maybe I can offer you something better. Yeah, the rules that govern the infinity stones don't have, have any power the there. Variants been killing our Minutemen. And you need the god of mischief to help you stop them. Why me? Variant we're hunting is you. Oh. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oklahoma. Son, Oklahoma. Is that the Oregon Trail Times? <clears throat> Possibly. Wait, someone's out there. Check it out. Dang, they're kind of militant, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, y'all just said oil. <laughs> Dang, that's the time resetter, and it just looks like a firefly catcher. So who is this though? Is this the Loki they're talking about? It looks like Scream. Was that it already? Oh my god, that was so fast. That was like 20 minutes. So far, guys, loving the concept, man. So there's like a main timeline, and when the Tesseract fell at Loki's feet, he split the timeline, and that upset the higher-ups. And there's apparently a lot of really powerful people who are in charge of keeping that timeline flowing in the right way. And Loki's having a really hard time with an identity crisis because he has been someone who's always had a mission and his mission was guided by his own desires. And now he's realizing that he's sort of programmed to have them. And so I think he's having a hard time with that determinism aspect of that. I'm excited to see where this goes. That was dope. Do you Me like too. it? Yeah, yeah I'm having really a good fun. time. And it's interesting. And it's cool that it's even bigger than like the Infinity Zones. Right. I hope that by the end of it, it doesn't saturate like all the good work that so many people did you know what i'm saying right oh some game of thrones here he here he <laughs> right oshkosh the purple wedding Wisconsin. yeah 1985 the year Brooke was born <laughs> no it wasn't <laughs> she old y'all not that old hi what's going on you guys aren't dressed right <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Variant detected, Commander. Let's move. Some of us need this. <laughs> <laughs> no one was even talking to her. <laughs> uh oh. Is it I need a hero? All right, baby. Please sing it for us. I don't know it. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't you know every song, though? That was wild, right? So he's a hero? I guess so. It is mine. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if you're thinking of it in terms of if you're being held prisoner by the universe, like if they're dictating your timeline for you, in a sense, they are the enemy. Right. When you say hero, it's like, who's asking? Right. What happens when a Nexus event branches past red line? Very bad things. Come on, Loki. What is it? <laughs> Watch it. Where's your manners? <laughs> oh, hey. I like how optimistic it sounds. Right. There's been an attack. Let's go. Put it on. Oh, you official, official. We've grabbed enough temporal aura to know it's our low-key variant. No, the lesser kind, to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Who's at the back of that jacket? Does say training? His new ego is going to be against himself. Oh, variant. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a low-key, a variation of this guy. A type we should all be very familiar with because the TVA has pruned a lot of these guys, almost more than any other variant. <laughs> no two are alike, slight differences in appearance. A soccer one? Or not so Whoa. Cool. <laughs> We're going to break into two teams, including myself and <laughs> Professor Loki. Why? <laughs> because whoever this variant is, we haven't been able to find them. So let's bring in an expert. That's me. 
What if Loki realizes that he's like the worst version of himself? And like there's all these super Lokis and he kind of sucks. <laughs> that would suck <laughs> for him. Is he gonna be able to like hunt himself though? That's the thing. The variant's never taken a hostage before. Or he pruned her. A Loki couldn't have gotten the jump on C20. I think you underestimate actually. Fan out. And hurry up because we're at three units. He keeps defending him. Yeah. <laughs> I see a scheme, and in that scheme, I see myself. So you must really know yourself you now. Mm -hmm. You underestimate me, just as you underestimate this lesser Loki. Which is why you walk into one wolf's mouth after another. <laughs> Two units. He is wasting our time. Come on, Loki, make a long story short. We need to look for C20. But that's exactly what the variant wants you to do. He's waiting for you outside this tent. Almost one unit. And he rightly believes <laughs> together we can overthrow a little TVA. But that's not what I want. I have a new purpose. I can deliver you the variant, but I need assurances. He thinks he's got some type of position now. I know. He <laughs> disintegrated the moment the job has been done. He's lying. Just playing games. There's no one out there. Reset the timeline. Yeah, me for a sec. What do you say wrong? They feel like he's lying. That that guy ain't really out there. And what? He wasn't wrong. Oh, let's see. That's kind of creepy, <laughs> right? <laughs> Who sits in front of that desk? <laughs> is it just me or does this office keep getting better and better? Oh, that's the timekeepers. <laughs> Where'd There's you get three. that one, the snow globe? I love those. I don't remember bringing back that case. Look, I know you have a soft spot for broken things. I don't think so. Yes, you do. But Loki is an evil, lying skeleton. <laughs> Not unless the timekeepers decree it. And then it shall be so. And how are the old timekeepers? I don't know, because I've never met them. Thankfully, that one looks like he's got kind the of- The timekeepers among <laughs> every aspect of this case. I've never seen them so involved. And this is the last chance you're going to get with this Loki. They do have a lot of paperwork. <laughs> you really believe in this variant? And hey, if it doesn't work, I'll delete them myself. <laughs> That was your first lesson in catching a Loki. You see, half the fun of being a trickster <laughs> is knowing everyone knows you're a trickster and then... Just shut up, please. What happened to the guy I met on the elevator? Who didn't like to talk? Remember him? Wait, isn't that precisely why I'm here? Right, ain't that what you I wanted? I don't care right. what you tick. You're here to help me catch the superior version of yourself. Very nice. <laughs> I'm ten steps ahead of you. I've been playing a game of my own all along. But have you, though? <laughs> your way in front of the timekeepers, hustle them, and seize control of the TVA. A double cross by history. <laughs> reliable He's like, no, that wasn't my okay. idea. <laughs> what are you Why talking about? Sticking your neck out for me. I'll give you two options, and you can believe whichever one you want. A, because I see a scared little boy shivering in the cold, and you kind of feel bad for that ice runt. <laughs> B, I just want to catch this guy, and I'll tell you whatever I need to tell you. <laughs> Spoiled his plan, didn't he? Next step of your manipulation. No, this is the final step, your last chance. Work. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stories. The timekeepers look kind of demonic, don't they? They're like this. I need you to go like some devils or something. One of the variants case files and then give me your unique Loki perspective. Well, you're idiots. I suspect you probably missed a lot. That's why I'm lucky I got you. Let me park you at this desk, and don't be afraid to really lean into this work. Here's a good trick for you. Pretend your life depends on it. I'm going to get a snack. <laughs> Look how many offices there are. I know. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me the variant ambushed and killed another team of minutemen. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Hi. This place seems miserable. I know. This is going to be in my nightmares. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I help you? I'd like... All files pertaining to the creation of the TVA, please. Those are classified. <laughs> okay, the end of time. Those are classified. Okay, what files can I have? Happy reading. That's it? Just like two files. His own file. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Oh, I mean, I guess it's good he can study his own case. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's kind of tough. A class seven apocalypse, that's what it said. <laughs> <laughs> what? Total planetary destruction. I mean, that'd be tough to see if you're him. Yeah. He's hiding in apocalypses. Which apocalypse? Any time in history, there's like a million of them. <laughs> Ragnarok. Are you familiar? Yes. Mm -hmm. the destruction of Asgard and most of its people. I'm sorry. I could go down <laughs> to Asgard before Ragnarok causes its complete destruction, and I could do anything I wanted. <laughs> I could do whatever I want to do, and it would never matter 
It wouldn't go against the dictates of the timeline. <laughs> He's messing this salad yeah. up. Excuse me? Oh, God. You. <laughs> because the apocalypse is coming. No, don't do. Dude. There's the apocalypse. Ruin a good salad. That's the apocalypse. You don't Ragnarok. need to do this to explain it at all. <laughs> right. Ragnarok. There it is. Hence, the variant could be hiding in the apocalypse and do whatever he wants and we wouldn't know. Right, that's what I was thinking he was saying. Oh, okay. Take me to a real apocalypse. Take me to Ragnarok, I'll show you. Yeah, so you can run away back to your homeland? Oh, Mobius, come on. What could possibly go wrong? We gotta <laughs> properly test this theory. Well, here's a fun theory. You lure me out into the field and then you stab me in the back. And that's a theory He's good at I that. <laughs> I'd never stab anyone in the back. Okay, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back. Like, <laughs> Thor is probably like 48 of them. Because it got old. You don't trust me. You can trust one thing. I love to be right. <laughs> Pompeii. Pompeii. Oh, Pompeii. oh no. What year though? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With this the is, volcano. Yeah, yeah. What was it called? Mount Vesuvius. 79 AD. Until this entire town is wiped off the face of this planet. Imagine all that volcanic ash. I know we don't want to get too giddy. Oh come on. Cool. <laughs> no, it is cool, but it's just it's just not in good taste because we're all gonna die anyway. I know. Bird noises. Hey, yeah, bird noises like some like whooshing noises. <laughs> <laughs> They're so concerned about the butterfly effect, basically. <laughs> He's just causing so much hell right now. Yeah. <laughs> because he has on like a suit, first of all. <laughs> right, and he feels he feels something for those because he has horns on too. Loki. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wars omnis, moratori. He sounds like Daenerys. Pastos per cycle in wars est eulobitoros. What is the TVA? I mean, it's from the future. It sounds from the future. It's pretty future. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Right on cue. Nothing matters. Nothing has any consequence. They're all like panicking. <laughs> they guys having a heart attack right there. <laughs> no branching in the timeline. TVA would never even know we were here. If it were me, this is where I would hide. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was yeah. a crazy scene. I like that. Man, just let my dude sleep. By the way, at your desk, that magazine. Yeah, the one on jet skis. Yes. Why do you have that? Why are they talking about jet skis so much? Because <laughs> he likes jet skis. <laughs> yeah. You know, some things, actually most things in history are kind of dumb and everything gets ruined eventually. But in the early 1990s, for a brief <laughs> moment, there was a beautiful union of form and function, which we call the jet ski. And a reasonable man <laughs> cannot differ. You ever been on one? <clears throat> no. <laughs> I think a TVA agent showing up on a jet ski on the sacred timeline, that would create a branch for sure. That'd be fun though. Yeah. Oh. So why read about them? It helps remind me of what we're fighting for. Three magic lizards. Timekeepers. Created the TVA. You see, every time I start to admire your intelligence, you say something like that. Hey, who created you, Loki? Well, who the created the timekeepers? Time. And who raised you? <laughs> Odin of Asgard. Odin, god of the heavens, Asgard. Frost giants, listen it's to yourself. It's not the same, it's completely no, no, different. No, 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 actually, it's exactly <laughs> the same. My own glorious purpose. Because the TVA is my life. And it's real because I believe it's real. Good employee. Fair enough. He definitely totes the company real. line, don't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No more Nexus events. Just order and we meet in peace at the end of time. Only order. No chaos. It sounds boring. I'm sure it does to you. You know, you <laughs> called me a scared little boy. I called you a lot of things. You're wrong, though. <laughs> You see, I know something children don't, but no one bad is ever truly bad, and no one good is ever truly good. Scared little boy. Yes, it was quite patronizing. I thought it was a bit too far, actually. Oh, he just triggered an idea. Yeah. I know. Kablooey. What's that? <laughs> candy. Do you have candy on Asgard? Yeah. Grapes, nuts. <laughs> I wonder you're so bitter. <laughs> Grapes, nuts. All you gotta do is cross reference that with every apocalyptic event. I'm gonna give you half and let's make it a competition. See who finds it. Sure. Okay? Mm -hmm. well, you wanna bet something? Yeah. It's not the climate disaster of 2048. 2050. That's crazy. Swallow. Is that a thing? 
completely screwed up the ecosystem. Krakatoa <laughs> erupted in 2049 as well. No kablooey. That's where he is. Alabama 2050. In Alabama? I'll take my job if I'm not careful. Loki, you're getting good at this. You want me to approve deployment of a fully armed task force to yeah. the variant's potential hiding spot? And this is all based on a theory from the variant who just blew your previous mission. Yeah, he's doing great. <laughs> as your friend, I have to tell you that trusting this man is not a good idea. That's what concerns me. <laughs> I can handle him. Trust me, this is where we get our guy. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're on. <laughs> that lighting there is tripping me out though, that I know. soft yellow. Work today. I thought so too. Telling you, you actually help us catch this variant? Well, good enough for a face to face with the timekeepers? I didn't say that. Does he think if he gets in front of them, he's going to be able to manipulate them or something? I don't know. I, I feel like he's up to something, right? Gather right. Down for a briefing. Every time there is an attack, the variant steals a reset charge. He's planning something. We just don't know what. Oh, he steals so keep it. Keep an eye out for the missing charges. And if you see a Loki, prune it. The bad lady, preferably. <laughs> Genius. A class 10. Let's see what this is about. The future looks crazy, though, don't it? Mm -hmm. Holograms everywhere. What the hell was that? That was me. Using magic to dry my clothes. <laughs> Why didn't you use magic to cover yourself from the rain, though? What is he? Oh, so he's there. There he is. So you were right, Loki. I don't know why they're hiding his face so much, though. Oh, they said a bomb. Mm -hmm. I, for one, I'm glad we get him to spend this time here. I mean, it's like mm -hmm. I fell off the What are you doing? Shopping for plants. <laughs> In this storm. It's a hurricane sale. <laughs> <laughs> Could that be here? Yes, maybe. I probably would have worn the suit. 100%. Mm -hmm. Is he dead? No, they usually survive. So, you're the fool the TVA brought in to hunt me down. Me, I presume. Please. Oh, he's just now getting it? <laughs> if anyone's anyone, you're me. Oh. <laughs> How nice to meet you. Check the bags for the reset charges. You got FEMA? <laughs> National Guard? Be any one of them. Well, hey, if you got a copter or other transport. No, I'm sorry, we don't. How the heck did you get here? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> what is she freaking out about? She's the one that was captured, right? Hi, are you guys looking for the disaster shelter? No. Who is this dude? <laughs> now Loki, I guess. <laughs> oh, bless. Are you going to call your little friends for help? <laughs> you too scared to meet me face to face? If you could possibly sheath your smile for a moment, I have an offer for you. That's why I found you. I'm going to overthrow the timekeepers. <laughs> That's why he wants to get in there. Yeah. Uh, what say you, Loki? You can call me Randy. Randy. God, now I understand why Thor found this so annoying. Listen, enough of your games. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. I'm not interested in ruling the time variance authority. Uh oh. I gave it away. What did you give away? The timekeepers, where they are. I gave it away how to find them. Why did she do that? She was possessed by that Loki? Yeah, she was. Is she back to normal? Well, she seemed nervous too, did she not? Too late. I see. That's your plan. Lure us all here so you could blow the place up. <laughs> Who is this? I miss Randy. <laughs> That's Billy. Thank you for helping me stall for time. You really do love to hear yourself talk. You're not the first person to tell me. What? <laughs> Hi. Oh. Oh. Mobius. I, I lost. Him. <laughs> Brace yourself, Loki. <laughs> What? Uh-oh. Oh, it's like a girl, Loki. She's Loki. She has the horns. One horn, one was broken. All those resetters? Oh, she's making them all girly. What is she doing to him? How'd you do that? 
Where are they going? Maybe the different apocalypses. Right. It's not possible. Creating chaos. Francis rapidly forming at a slope. Somebody just bombed the sacred. I'm making time. a, a nexus. Oh, they're getting red. I'm <laughs> branching it up to the nexus point. So what if the whole next phase of Marvel was just trying to fix the timeline? Because he was about to get it. So why are you doing this, girl Loki? Yeah, like how much do you understand yourself, Loki, if you're like a girl? <laughs> you better hop in there. Can't trust him. Ever. That was a good episode. All right, guys. So this is Lamentus. Episode three. Let's go. Halfway through it. My favorite part so far is when Loki was throwing all that stuff during the apocalypse. That was really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many times the health department has closed this place down? <laughs> well, the drinks seem fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Ah, oh, brain freeze. You know what brain freeze is, don't you? So it permeates the roof of your mouth and freezes the synapses in your brain. So your memories are literally frozen in place. I'm going to ask you a question and you won't be able to tell me the answer until your synapses have melted. Challenge accepted. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> I'll try it though. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Sorry, what? Is that how she got the answer? So why won't you tell me how many people are guarding the timekeepers? This place, I, I remember, I know this place, but I don't know you. It's okay, you're just tired. That was weird. Yeah. Right. You're probably just tired. Oh, man. How do I find the elevators? They're gold. So she can do like mind control manipulation and stuff. This is really cool, though. I yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. I like that, too. They just left. Oh, man. So she's a powerful look. <laughs> you better back up. A few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Rude. <laughs> You're in my way. You are my way. I thought perhaps we could work together. You think where she's from, Thor's a girl too? <laughs> Maybe. Like Thorina? Yeah. You lack Lokita? Arena. Maybe he's got brown hair. <laughs> hey! Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> They're like Doctor Strange around, aren't they? In a, a different bit, way. Yeah. Where do they just land? Oh, get off my leg! <laughs> get off my leg. <laughs> Goodbye, variant. <laughs> Hello, battery. <laughs> it's not working. Oh. oh. He is an Asgardian power. So you're just fully a magician then. For my next trick, <laughs> I'll make you disappear. <laughs> Lamentus. Lamentus won. Oh no, the moon. The moon's getting sucked into the earth and it's bringing in all these like pieces of debris. Is it another apocalypse? Yeah, it's an apocalypse. I don't know what I mean. This is the worst. No one makes it off here. Watch out! Didn't exactly have time to scan the brochure. <laughs> there. So we're a team now. Oh God, no! <laughs> Just go in there, no problem. Yeah, they need to get off this planet though. This is stressful. It won't work. Why? Because you're a magician. No, because my mind is too strong. <laughs> Listen, neither of us is getting off this rock if we can't get that temp pad turned back Where on. do you have it hidden? In my heart. Well, then I'll cut it out. <laughs> nice. Very droll. Lovely. <laughs> the plan you interrupted was years in the making. Got it. And as soon as I turn that temp pad back on, I'm going straight back to the TVA to finish what I started. Good. So she I'll hates him. Mm -hmm. Or I'll kill you. There's power somewhere on this moon. We just need enough of it to travel through interdimensional time and space. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. A lot of power, absolutely. <laughs> Whoa. Slow down, variant. Don't call me variant. I'm sorry about not calling some faded photocopy of me, Loki. <laughs> Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Sylvie? Oh, you your name. Brilliant. It's called an alias. What's not very Loki like? Your years in the making plan was to tear the place down, create the ultimate power vacuum, and then just walk away. Right. I'd never have done that. 
Yeah? Well, I'm not you. Can we get on with this now? This is crazy, like all the places they've, they've been to. Right. Could that charge the tempo? Maybe. That looks like that was a rough town, boy. I know. The tempad requires a massive power source, not a nightlight. What the heck is that shack? Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. Noted. <laughs> Lasted. Should have not. It's remarkable that you ever made it as far as you did. <laughs> Sorry about that. I enjoyed it. Oh, <laughs> I did too. But I can assure you, despite my acquaintance behaving like an animal, uh, we mean you no harm. <laughs> we are simply weary travelers. Sure you are. <sighs> uh oh. Hello, dear. That's jacked up. Patrice, you're as beautiful as I. <laughs> <laughs> that lady ain't falling for it. Patrice never said a thing that nice in thirty years. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 you're a devil. <laughs> Which one was that? Diplomacy? Don't. Or... <laughs> Stone. <laughs> Where is everyone? The Ark. Something like that would have enough juice to repower the tempad. How do we get there? But you'll never get a ticket. Come on, let's go. Well, that old lady's doomed to a terrible fate. Unfortunately. I'm going to enchant a guard, have him lead us through the crowd. And then what? Kill every guard and hijack the train. <laughs> We're doing this one my way. How do we look? Like some dorky plan. It's a great plan. <laughs> Just follow my lead. He was like one of those bicyclists, don't he? Yeah. Hey, like good idea though. <laughs> Look at the way they're dressed. <laughs> like they're going to theater. Compared to these gray suits. <laughs> right. Good evening, passengers. Hi. <laughs> Uh, look, I can't go backwards on a train. Well, I never sit with my back to a door. This place looks like the Gravitron. You can't sleep on a train. No, I can't sleep around untrustworthy people. <laughs> well, right, not me. But you feel free to take a nap. <laughs> Tell me about your mother. I barely remember her. Just blips of a dream at this point. You know, when I was young, she'd do these little bits of magic for me. Cast fireworks over the water. Like Gandalf. But she told me that one day I'd be able to do it too, because, because I could do anything. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I would bet people if I could do that. <laughs> I bet I can make fireworks in my hand. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was the kind of person you want to believe in you. Maybe that's like hustling people though. You get beat up for that. I know. No, she did. As long as they paid so, up. Where'd you learn to do the, you know, the I taught whatever myself. You taught yourself that magic. Yeah, I did. You just go into their minds and project some sort of illusion. Really, it'd be easier if I just sh enchanted me and make you give me the temp back so you can leap out of a moving train. No, thank you. Well, then don't ask. Okay. Champagne. <laughs> Is that why he has on like yes. the turtleneck? Right. <laughs> she was in love. So, on the subject of love, is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? Is this Loki yeah, falling in exactly. love with himself? Huh? Yeah. To Typical. Maintain quite a serious long distance relationship with a postman whilst running across time from one apocalypse to another. <laughs> we should rest. So they, they don't, just have that train? Yeah, but they don't seem very concerned that an asteroid is going to hit it and derail it. No. That's the damn train to Busan over there. That's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> he sounds like uh, Aragorn. Yeah. Don't he? <laughs> She's like, what the heck? <laughs> Why is he singing like this? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Thor did, didn't he? You're drunk. No, I'm just full. But bear in mind, I'm very full. <laughs> no. Where's your uniform? Nobody cares. It's the end of the world. I think something's <laughs> Love is a dagger. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. Terrible metaphor. <laughs> I thought I had something there. <laughs> <laughs> Stay calm. It's gonna be fine. Sure. Can I see your I was waiting for it. Of course. Here they are. <laughs> Oops. Still, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Look, is this really necessary? There is a simple explanation. Oh, because he's drunk. Hey. Yeah. So he pulled out the wrong thing. Okay, I didn't even get that part. It still looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> they make a good team. I well, mostly say that because they're both good fighters. Right. They're just having a whole bar fight together. Yeah. Awful <laughs> friend. That's funny that she just blames him though. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, he has it, so. Give me the temp pad. Right, right, right. 
I was brought <laughs> up. Fried. You killed us. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> You're not a serious man. You're right. I'm a god. You're a clown. <laughs> you got drunk on the train. I'm hedonistic. <laughs> They're choosing a terrible spot to just sit down. Yeah, At least go in a cave. They have, they don't even care. They have no stress. I don't know. You broke the tempad, and that planet is about to crash into us. <laughs> what about the ark? The ark never leaves because it's destroyed. <laughs> never had us on it. You're not allowed to do that. So what? We hijack the ark and make sure it gets off this moon. It's a branch. Okay. It's gonna be a red branch, ain't it? Mm hmm Oh, she's just down, is she? <laughs> yeah. Here's an idea. What if you enchanted me and you could walk for both of us? <laughs> I just need to know if I can trust you. Was that city lit up back there? It looked like it. Okay, How fine. do they even have a power grid? What did you say? She was just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Love margaritas. <laughs> I was told that everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's yeah, that's not true. They're all variants, just like us. They don't know that. Oh. Wow. What's our right up? They're gonna let these people die. We have to get on that arc and make sure it takes off. How? I couldn't imagine the apocalypse in real life, though. I know. It'd be so much crazier than this. <laughs> and imagine if you were watching a ship about to take off that you couldn't leave on. Yeah, I'd be trying to sabotage it, probably. I'm sure that's what all the people are thinking. Oh, is that the ship room? Oh, this is the noodle spot right here. Uh oh. Yeah, it's over now. Oh. Did he do that? Yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? Well, oh, so they didn't get to do it. They didn't even get close, to be honest. Man. She just walks away. All right, guys. So Loki got left on a planet that's being destroyed because... Lamentus? Yeah, Moon is getting way too close to the planet. It's disrupting all kinds of gravitational pulls. Meteors are coming, and it doesn't look like Loki's going to make it. Mm -mm. Probably make it, but goodness. You know, the truth is, he died in the original timeline. I don't know if this show is going to, like... Well, we kind of like with Vision. Like, Vision ended up dying again. I don't know if Loki's going to die at the end of this, or if this is going to be the way that he, like, God, comes back. Not. Maybe he overcomes that main timeline. I really don't know, but the main intrigue of this show to me is is loki gonna survive it or not right like, is he gonna be a part of the next phase of the mcu and i really hope that he is because right. why would i not right i'm starting to think tva is the bad guy well yeah i mean there's something right. about it that seems well i mean in a cosmic way like if someone is taking away your free will but i mean i guess in a sense i guess it depends on who you ask is yes, TV, it, tva the bad guy <laughs> yeah because from tva's perspective like if they don't hold the timeline together then destruction and chaos is going to happen and then ultimately all of existence is going to crumble in on itself and probably be destroyed so they probably feel like they're ultimately doing the right thing but if you're loki i can see why your perspective you wouldn't really be down with that right. especially if they're putting you on trial and stuff especially if you're like a god and people are telling you how you have to be right well god is just a title in this universe like but for you know, him it means everything right it's funny because we're watching his like his self-image we watched it crumble and now it sort of seems like he's trying to be a little better right sense. it seems like know. he's redeeming himself yeah in a way yeah uh dude i'm really into it i'm here for it i'm loving the apocalyptic themes to it i said mm -hmm. an x-men apocalypse if you guys watch that anytime there's an apocalypse going down on a tv screen dude i'm captivated by it so i had a lot of fun watching this for sure um I just really hope that we can get it together and figure out ultimately like what are the motives of these timekeepers? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they gray? Most of the time they're gray. My prediction is he's gonna have to go back to Ragnarok or something. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Or something. I or yeah. something's gonna have to tie in with like Asgard or something. It's hard to even make predictions really, but if I had to make one, I would say I think that he's gonna overcome it and reintroduce himself into the MCU verse. But but probably then, so. It, Only because there's a Loki season two. <laughs> right. Because that doesn't do away with everything that happened. It doesn't make it less real. It, it happened. It's just that time branch. So I said in the intro, I might cut it for YouTube, uh, because obviously I haven't finished making the intro yet. But I said that there was nine episodes of this, but there's not, right? There's, there's only, only six. six. Yeah. I'm, yeah. So we thought there were nine. I said there was nine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was episode one through three, and we'll be back with four, five, six. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you on the next video.